Notice where the breath is most obvious in your awareness. And make sure that it's comfortable there, too. This is an important principle. You're not going to stay with the breath if it's not comfortable. And it is something you can change, so you try to, adjusting it to see if longer breathing feels better or shorter breathing. Faster, slower, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. Lots of ways you can experiment. And if the mind wanders off, you just bring it right back. Meditation is medicine for the mind. Because the mind has its diseases. First there's just general irritation and feeling frazzled. And then there are the deeper diseases of greed, aversion, delusion. And so when you know you've got a disease, then you've got to take the medication. Some people say, I can't meditate. and It's like saying, I've got a disease, I can't go see the doctor, I can't take the medicine. Well, when you've got the disease, you know that if you don't treat it, there's going to be big problems, and you've got to go do what you can to find a doctor to get the medicine you need and take the medicine too. Unfortunately, with this medicine, it's not always bitter. They put a little sweetener in it as well. The sweetener is the concentration, the, the ease and well-being that come with the concentration. But still, this, medi this medicine may not be easy to take. Just getting to the concentration requires a fair amount of effort right there. But when you realize hey, this is what you really need, this is what's going to cure the diseases of the mind, this is what you do. Just stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. And you find if you give it enough energy and give it enough enthusiasm, it, it'll work. If you just put in, go through the motions, put in the time, that's not going to help much. It's better than not doing it at all. But when you focus on it, you really want to give it your attention. Okay, what's working here? What's not working here? What can I change? Because after all, we are working on our own sense of well-being inside. And this is something you want to get to know anyhow. You've got the breath, and you can use the breath to soothe the mind, to soothe the body. And so you need to take some time in order to learn that skill. Because otherwise you're going around rubbing abrasive into yourself all the time. No wonder you end up saying and doing and thinking things that you later regret, because you're fearing, feeling irritated all the time, and a lot of the irritation comes from within. When you complain about irritation from outside, how impressive it is. That's because we've got a lot of irritation inside. If we weren't irritating ourselves inside with the way we breathe, the way we think, then outside irritation wouldn't cause any problem at all. So we have to look carefully at how we are treating ourselves from within and realize that we can change that. If we're being abrasive with the way we breathe, we can be more soothing. It's our choice. It's simply that you pay attention and you stick with it. And that's what begins to cure the diseases of the mind.